Welcome to News on the Moon, brought to you by Cloud and Fire. I'm Rachel Fabiase. Bad habits. We all have them, from the classroom to the bathroom. But when bad habits follow you into the workplace, you can lose your job. What are the worst offenses? Our very own Ted McMichaels is out on the street to find out. Ted? I'm here on the streets to find the top 10 worst habits in work. And uh, there are some people that are completely unprofessional in the Hello, how are you? I'm a reporter, so I'm very popular. Ted? Yes, Rachel. So, we tracked down several people to give us the top 10 worst habits to have in work. So that's on the roll, roll the tape, so we'll roll the tape. Be my wingman. Hey, hello, blue eyes. You look like a smart guy. We're talking about the worst habits to have in the workplace. What do you think they are? Talking on a cell phone in front of customers. Oh, hold on, <laughs> I'm blowing up. Excuse me. Oh. Hey, what's up? Oh, you got out of jail. That's a good thing. Being rude to customers. Hmm. Giving discounts to your friends when you're not supposed to. Using slang or gang talk in front of customers and taking a gang attitude at work. Mm. Word. <laughs> Standing around instead of working. Another bad habit in the workplace. Arguing with your boss, not taking criticism well? Not taking criticism well. I have a couple producers I have that problem with. Assuming everything is because of racism. I get it all the time, sister. You seem profanity in the workplace. I'll get the <laughs> out of here. Taking things that belong to the company. Does a stapler count? Yeah. So what about a coffee maker? I think so. Oh, so I guess a car is right out then. Definitely. Just not showing up to work with no excuse, not even calling. Hmm. What's the worst excuse you've heard the next day? I couldn't get a ride. Couldn't get a ride. I had to go to a family birthday party. I had quinceañera practice. <laughs> it's pronounced quinceañera, so you're wrong. And you're fired, so double strike, strike and strike. My brother went to prison. Or even my mother went to Mexico. Mother went to, that's a great idea. Does it work for Raging Waters? Like, my mother went to Raging Waters. I was, no. Theme parks are out. Fighting with your... Is this a two-shot? Fighting with your coworkers in front of customers. Is this a two-shot? Derek, are you doing a two-shot? Can I do... Do I have to do your job, too? Huh, Derek? So that's what I got for you today. I uh, missed a couple of the favorites, like alien abduction, my personal favorite, carjacking. That also works. But that's what I got for you. Ted, that was supposed to be the top ten. I think you gave us about 20. Yes. Uh, well, I gave you a baker's dozen. I gave you some things to work with. I rounded up because that's what a good employee does. Goes that extra mile. <laughs> Remember these top t baker's dozen bad habits and avoid them at all costs. Talking on the cell phone in front of customers. Being rude to customers. Giving discounts to your friends. Using slang, gang talk, or taking a gang attitude at work. Standing around instead of working arguing and not taking criticism well, assuming racism is the cause of a problem, using profanity, taking things that belong to the company, not coming to work without calling first, and finally, fighting with your coworkers in front of the customers. Although, after today's broadcast, I kind of understand that one. Oh, oh, this just in. Ted, you're fired. You, you can't do this to me, not with my mother in a Mexican prison, uh, just waiting to celebrate my sister's quinceanera, and my brother's in prison? Uh, oh, you know, you want to fire me? Read between... That's it for News on the Move. I'm Rachel Fabiasso. Good night.